Hey folks, my name is Rojo, and welcome back to the Guild of Dungeoneering. When we last left off, I believe we had just... Oh my god, that is the worst! Did you pause the game? Come on! Oh man, when we last left off, though, I think... Hmm, yes, we had uh, just about finished up the Evil Lich adventure. We uh, took Rex out for another spin, our, our Lady Rex here, <laughs> and... Uh, we're going to actually go right back uh, to this adventure because there's nowhere else to go. And hopefully Rex can get it done. Let's begin. Tubular Dungeons. Hey, I'm not that evil. I don't know, man. You look pretty evil. You have Death 5 and Spooky 5. That's pretty evil. What is this, though? So, well, we know what Frail is, of course, but, uh... Still being summoned, minus 2 HP, half-baked, you say. He's got a bunch of these ladies all around, with Death 3 and Flame 4. That's, uh, that's pretty dangerous, actually. It seems like we can actually sort of, like, skip all of them and just go right around this way. But the ritual is complete in 10 turns, and then he's, I assume he's gonna get plus 2 HP, so... I think uh, our best bet is maybe to not mess around too much. Now I'm curious if this is going to be a good fountain or not. I would I would love to get that chest though. I mean it's a level three chest and it's right there. It is a good fountain. Awesome. All right. That uh, that's good news. I'm gonna put down a fire imp here and then I think I'm gonna put. Oh no, I can't put a thing there. Uh hmm hmm <laughs> hmm. I don't think I'm gonna put any, anything else down. Actually. Do these guys have any traits? They have Night Owl. There's no way we're going to get five tiles around this guy, though, so I'm not going to sweat that too much. Let's just go ahead and start the fight. Claws out. Yeah, I'm trying to pay attention to what this person says now. Because I sort of didn't forever. Aspect of the Panther here is pretty good. Fiery weapon. We can block some of that, or we could just regen it. Let's, um, let's just block some. That's fine. Do a little bit of damage back. Flare. We'll hit him up with a rekindle here, I think. Now we just need one of our two damage cards. Like that. <laughs> All right. Easily done. What do we got? We're looking at Pigeon's Nest. That will actually be pretty good, I think. Let's get a Pigeon's Nest, because that gives us growth too. Restore cards, not too bad. Now, what is actually... I filed all my papers with the Ivory League of Explorers. Sure you have, sure you have. Um, what does our uh, fountain do again? Um, I don't know, where is our fountain? Oh no, there it is. Predictable next fight, alright, good to know. Uh, let's see here, let's see. We're gonna have to, I guess we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna have to fight this bat. And I'm not quite seeing what I want to see. We'll try putting this down. If, let's see if it's a good fountain or not. Ooh, it's a bad fountain. It's actually not that bad. It's one of the l less bad uh, bad fountains, if that makes any sense. But we'll, uh, we'll just go ahead and fight this guy for now. That's fine. This loot should help a fair bit. This, bad, this poor bad has no chance to survive. He had better make his time, as they say. Yeah. Alright, let's uh, let me do a restore here, that's fine. He's got another drain coming on the way, I don't think we're gonna be able to do anything about that. Uh, so we can just nullify that and then we'll probably kill him next turn, yeah, since he's doing a bite. There we go, perfect. What do we got? The Sash. Man, that'll give us growth three, which is pretty good, pretty good. We'll definitely take that. Plus the shift is nice. Get a little extra card draw, that kind of thing. Then we get some nice weapons here. This is actually a pretty good mask, or a pretty good head item. We lose refresh, but we gain a lot of good stuff. I'm assuming the Lich does a lot of magic damage with those cards he has, although... This Warhorn is really good too, so we'll take that instead. <laughs> I'm the evil one. I, uh, 
I don't think so. I don't, I don't believe that that is the case. Now then, can I divert our stalwart hero in a different direction? Like, what if we put a thing here? Then what do we want to fight? He's brittle and he has ir irritable, death, and spooky. I know what the bandito has and the bear owl. They're in cahoots. Let's try fighting a, m a mummy. The bear owl is probably easier. Yeah. Never ever caught anywhere without any toilet paper. Very nice. I don't know what that says. Vaso la vida. Somebody who knows Spanish will uh, be able to tell me, I'm sure. Ah, oh, balls. He's not going to take the bait. Hmm. Well, I guess we're going to have to just suck it up. Caw, caw, okay. So we get two stupidity cards. Ah, but if we maybe if we put this here, like so, and then we put a knoll here, will he take the bait? He will! Okay, good. Or she, I guess. I like this a little bit better. I should try being a knoll. <laughs> yeah, I think this is going to work out a lot better for us. All right, he's just going to hit us with a strike here. Oh, man, rejuvenate right off the bat. So much HP. Claw, we can deal with a claw. Let's actually, um, well, he's going to get in fury mode kind of either way, so we might as well just go go ham on this guy. And that doesn't mean turn into a pig. <laughs> I got the jokes, what can I say? But this is going to be at the end of this fight, so that's good. I just really wanted to get rid of that uh, stupidity and then also level up to level 3 before we fought the sorceress, so that's what was going on there. We gain repel, but we lose shift. No, we'll just take some gold, I think. Look, it was just one orphanage. Everyone makes mistakes. Yeah, I'm not buying it, man. Keep trying, though. Keep trying. Uh, we'll put some gold here just to make sure we do go there. Um, yeah, I think that sounds like a good idea. All right, she's going to hit us with a spark. I'm going to save our... Uh, or holy seal for now. Pain, we can deal with some pain. Um, actually, in this case, I'm still gonna save our holy seal. I'm just gonna regen. Very nice. Okay, she doesn't. I'm like thinking that she has like some other cards that are like more dangerous, but I'm not seeing them. <laughs> and that's why I'm trying to save my blocking cards. Like flare, I'm not worried about flare. What else has she got? Fireball, there we go. Now that's worth blocking. And actually, we should be able to finish this up shortly here, I think. Um, we'll just block that one, I guess, so we can get two damage through. Oh, jeez. Well, never mind. Oh, well, this will still work. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Very nice. All right, good. What kind of loot we got? Bone armor. Not bad. We don't have a weapon at all yet. Oh, already at maximum skill levels. No more battle cards available. Because it gives us growth too. Where are my merry men? Well, I guess, uh, yeah, we'll take the uh, the mace. It's a fine card. And we should be going straight for the lich here. Yeah, no sweat. Ah, uh, I wish we could put the massive gem down. How much does uh gold pouch gives us plus two gold? That's, that's cool. Good to know. But, uh, yeah, we don't need to put anything else down. Let's just go for this guy. I wish I could turn into a gold pouch. No fair! The ritual's almost complete! Nah, man! There was still a lot of time left, actually. I'm actually gonna do this and get some, uh... Some extra cards going here. He is frail, so we did a little extra damage there, which is nice. Unfortunately, we can't really do any damage to him right now with, with that darkness card, so I'm gonna have to use this. I don't love, but he probably doesn't have any physical damage anyway. Siphon. Hmm. Per damage. We can't even block it, so... I think we'll just, uh... Even this turn out, I guess. More or less. <laughs> He's got a drain. We can, uh... Do a rekindle here. And again, 
Not much change. There we go. He's got a swoop coming for us, but we can actually slam him. And we'll do a little bit more damage than he does to us, since this is all unblockable. Spook. Yeah, Rejuvenate is a good choice here. Lots of healing on this character. I love it. Shadow Spear. Um. Well, let's... Uh, that, that goes quick, so it's not actually going to do anything this turn. So let's just hit him with an Aspect of the Panther, I guess. And he's going to hit us with a Curse, but it's not going to matter because he's about to die. For real this time. <laughs> I'm assuming we're getting his phylactery at the same time. That's how liches work, man. Who'd have thought the way you fought you'd be so very brave? Now we need somebody else to fill this empty grave. Alrighty, well that's the end of that adventure. We didn't get very much money for that, actually. Bonuses. The nosy eye. Oh yes, that's what we were looking for. Oh, no, 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 that's, uh, that's a new area opened up, okay. No, I guess we, yeah, we got, no, we got the, the right amount of gold for that, never mind, what am I even thinking? Alright, well, we're slowly making our way to, uh, being able to unlock something new. But let's take a look at what we got now. The Nosy Eye. Find your way into the Eye Beast's lair. I think we'll, uh, we'll hold off on that one. And, well, actually, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Since I'm only doing these episodes on the, the weekends currently, I kind of like, you know, I'm trying to get some good progress made still. So these episodes end up being a little bit longer, then that's okay with me. Hopefully it's okay with you. Finally, I can get back to snooping on the neighbors. Hmm. That's some shady business, my friend. And actually, these, we can't even effing go anywhere. I guess we can put this down. That's something. Some coinage there, and we have to get... We just have to get to this room, basically. Gray Ooze. That's a new uh, enemy for us. Loopy stains on your armor or guarantees. Doesn't seem that tough. We, we can put one down, I guess. And uh, we can't really put this room anywhere, so... I suppose we'll just end our turn. Alright. He's mundane as well. I didn't notice that. Well, that's good. A little bit of extra damage from physical. Uh, I don't know exactly what cards he has, so I'm not gonna... Oh no, plus one damage from magic. Oh, right, right, right. My mistake. Frail is the one that's plus one damage from physical. Uh, yeah, I guess that means... I think he's probably got some better cards than that to block, so I'll, I'll just hit him with this for now. Yeah, I like that. That's a good card to block. Probably has another one, too. Flare doesn't matter because you are dead, my goopy friend. Excellent. All right. The sash. The sash is so good. All these pirate items are amazing. It seems like. But uh, yeah, we're, we're, we we got to take the sash for sure. Wow, Glothnar certainly seems to be doing well for herself. This guy really is uh, putting that thing to use, isn't he? Go ahead and drop a room here, I think, and we may as well fight something, I suppose. Oh man, I just noticed we actually have to go through some of these fountains. What do we got? Decay, stupidity, and conceit. We definitely don't want that. Decay, we don't want either. So really, we actually want to be going that way, come to think of it. We put that there. Yeah, he'll go that way, or she'll go that way, I should say. And let's put down, I guess, a scary spider. That should be very easy for us to deal with. Interesting form, indeed. Um, yeah, screw that other fountain. I don't, I don't care about that. <laughs> All right, spook. We can uh, we can deal with a spook. We'll just do a restore here. Neurotoxin. Shit, we can't block neurotoxin. That's not so good. Let's shift to counter the uh, card we're about to lose, even though we might lose our good, good damage card, which we did. It's okay. Because we win. Excellent. Okay, another Sash, Pigeon's Nest, and Koopa. We'll take the Pigeon's Nest for now. That's fine. 
And I would love to put this mimic down somewhere. I guess we can actually put this right here. And um, see if it's a good fountain or not. It's probably... I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm going to go through it anyway. Fountain of Heroism. What does this do? Hero gains 1 HP per damage block next fight. That's actually really good. And if we put this here... Yeah, okay. Let's, let's try this. I'm going to try and save this fountain until we get to the Minotaur. That's the goal. Oh man, a Sapphire Ring. That's some pretty good treasure there. But uh, yeah, so we're not going to be level 4 when we fight the Minotaur probably, but nonetheless, we're still going to be in pretty good shape with that fountain and all the blocking cards that we have, so that's kind of my, my thought there. Seems like a Pigeon's Nest is really appropriate for a, uh, um, a shapeshifter as well. Although, hopefully we'll be able to replace it with something better, or, well, it doesn't have to be necessarily uh, a hat. We still need a weapon, we still need an offhand, so really, whatever is fine. Alrighty. The barrel. No, paper crown is a new, and straight jacket is definitely a no, so we'll just take some gold. That was a little bit unfortunate. I was hoping for some better loot there, but sadly it was not to be. And there we go. There's the, the piece that we need. Uh, yeah, we can't fight anything else, so we're just, we'll just go ahead and put uh, some gold coins right there. I don't think you do wish you could turn it into a gold coin. That doesn't sound uh, like the best of times, in my opinion. Do a shift here. That's fine. Acrid Fog, Jesus. Uh, well, I guess we'll do this. We could turn it into like a no damage situation, but... Oh man, so dangerous here. Actually, though, this might be a good time to refresh. Because we get 3 HP that way, take 2 damage, that's fine though. And then we can start getting, uh, getting our HP back for real here. His healing is just really good. And then he's going to charge us, but that's okay, because Aspect of the Bull is going to get the win for us. I, li I like having this mix of cards here. It's really... It seems really effective so far. Some good choices here, actually. I think, though... Uh, I think I'm going to go with the Scimitar. Because the Minotaur probably has... Doesn't really have any magic damage, per se. And I think he has Decay, which means the Scimitar is maybe very slightly better, and he probably has an unblockable, so... Plus, I mean, Scimitars are, of course, the only weapons that Druids are allowed to use, am I right? Only Blades, anyway. Oh no, an affair while Garrock is out! Scandalous! But, uh, yeah, we have our Fountain, we have everything we need. Yeah, he does have Decay, still. So we're just gonna mosey on right over Twitch's nose, indeed. Alright. I should stop watching. Yes, you should. Deer form is great for running. Okay, so we have two fountains now. Hopefully that didn't, like, override our other fountain. Good, yeah, okay, it didn't. So, yeah, we're just gonna... Oh, we can't even put any uh, treasure down. That's fine, though. Let's fight this Minotaur. Oh, shit, no, I should have put the treasure right there. What a fool! My crow form would like this, though. Probably would, actually. We're a little bit low on HP, but I think we're still going to be able to pull this one out. Um, we're going to do a restore here, though, so we can negate that damage. Body slam, yep. Block that for sure. And yeah, that fountain is doing work. Holy crap. Uh, and actually, if we, uh, we're going to eat a lot of shit here, but I'm going to rekindle since he's doing an anger card, and then he'll uh, take some decay damage, and we'll get healed a little bit. Okay, headbutt, he's going to take some more damage here, so do one of those. He's in fury mode now, so we're going to be a little bit careful. We should be able to win, though. Yeah, head blow is happening right now, but that's okay, because we win. Perfect. Okay. And we don't need any of these items. The sword is actually, like, identical. Um... Well, we'll just take some gold, and that'll guarantee that we get to go over there. I should have looked at that to see what, how much gold it gives us. But there we go. Massive gem. 
and we're done. Perfect. Now showing off is quite a bore and certainly not becoming. But what we have here next in store will surely have you running. Alrighty, well that's gonna do it for this episode. What is new in here? What is- oh yeah, the evil lich, the ashes of the, of the lich, very nice. Alright, so when we come back, we will be going and uh, finishing up this nosy eye adventure, I suppose. And after that, who knows what happens. But until next time, my name has been Rojo, and thanks for watching.